Hello everybody. Welcome back to Chit Chat and Tea with Amanda Marie. I hope everybody's doing good out there. Good evening. It is a rainy evening here in New Hampshire. So it's a perfect, perfect night for me to make a nice little crochet tutorial for you all. Um, I really like this hat that I'm going to show you guys. That I'm going to show you guys how to make. It's I love I love the way it came out. It's a ladies beret hat. I put a little embellishment on it. I added this flower to it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that too. This is a puff stitch that is the main stitch with this hat. It's not hard if you've never done a puff stitch. I'm telling you, it is not difficult. You'll get a, get the hang of it really quick super it's really easy pretty quick to to whip together too so i hope you guys join me for this and and um come along for the tutorial and try it out the yarn i'm going to use is red heart super saver jumbo um i think to do this hat So I used, let me just grab one. I used like two of this size, okay, skeins to do this hat. That's about what you're going to need to do. Now that's, that's, yeah, to do the hat. I mean, so basically, I mean, obviously this is more than enough. This, I'm going to have a lot left over. I've just picked this color for the tutorial. Um, this color is called Aran. I guess I'm saying that right. Never heard of it, but I like it. It's a nice neutral color that can go with a lot of different things. Um, you can use whatever yarn you want. A yarn that's more chunky would be fine. I'm going with this one. I'm using a six size, six millimeter hook or J hook for this project. And let's get started so to start you just got to do a slip knot get that in there we're gonna start with a chain of four so one two three four we're gonna make a circle so we're just gonna take our hook and we're gonna slip stitch right into that first chain we're gonna draw up a loop bring it through and then just slip stitch right through into that stitch and then you've created a little circle here so what we're gonna do into our circle is a puff stitch we're gonna do so I'm going to show you how to do a puff stitch. So basically to do a puff stitch, all you have to do is yarn over, go right through the center of your circle, draw up a loop, bring it back through the center. You're going to do that again. Okay. Yarn over, go through, draw up a loop, bring it back through. And we're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, go through. and then draw up a loop, come back through, and now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook, and you're just gonna go, you're gonna yarn over and go through all seven of those. And then you're gonna chain one to tie that, that off. That's the puff stitch, okay? That's basically a puff stitch. So we're gonna do another one of those. Okay, so through, do that again, and again, and then go through all three and chain one. Show you one more time, yarn over, go through, draw up a loop, come back through, yarn over, go through, draw up a loop, come back, yarn over, go through, Draw up a loop, come back. That's three times you do that. 
and then you go through all three loops and you chain one. So that is a puff stitch. So now we're gonna do eight of these puff stitches all to go all around our circle and I'll meet you guys back when we do that. All right guys, so I made it to the end of this round one. Sorry, my finger just went over the camera. Sorry about that. Um, so now you just want to, you should have eight, like I said, you should have eight um, puff stitches around your circle, okay? Now we're just going to slip stitch right into this side here of our, this puff stitch on the other side, slip stitch that, there you go. You can take your tail and tighten that up, that little center part. And if you want it tighter in the end, you can just like sew it up, but. Okay, so now to do round two, we're going to slip stitch right into the top of this first puff stitch, okay? So we're just gonna like slip stitch in there. Hold on a second, if I can do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so slip stitch in there, and then you're just gonna slip stitch right into this chain one space right there, okay? You're just gonna slip stitch right like that. Yep, there you go. And then we're gonna chain one okay and for this round we're going to be doing um we're just gonna be putting two puff stitches into each space so basically we're gonna do remember it's three you yarn over and go through and draw up a loop three times. You should have seven loops on your hook. Go through all seven and then chain one to tie it off. You always re gotta remember, it's very important to remember to do that. Chain one at the end to tie off your puff stitch because if you don't, you're gonna have a mess because it's just gonna be all loose. So we're gonna put two puff stitches into the same stitch. Okay, all through, chain one. We're gonna go into the next chain one space there, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put two puff, puffs, I like to call them puffs. <laughs> we're gonna put two puffs into, let me just get some more yarn, here we go into this same stitch. Another puff, one, two, three, and chain one. So basically guys, we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around, okay? I'll meet you guys when we get to the end. All right guys, so I'm at the end of that round. You should have 16 puff stitches at the end of this round and you're basically just going to slip stitch right um, on the side of this puff right wherever right here is fine right there slip stitch and there you go okay so for the next round we're basically going to slip stitch again like we did right into the top of this puff okay right there and then slip stitch right into that chain one space, chain one. And now we're gonna do, um, for this round, we're gonna do two puffs into this first chain one space. So let's do two puffs. Let me just get some more yarn. all three, chain one, and we're gonna do another puff. Okay, and chain one. Okay, into the next stitch, we're gonna do one puff stitch. Okay. 
Okay, so one puff stitch. Oh, lost ya. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Uh oh. Dog alert, dog alert. Okay. The next one, we're going to do two. So we did two, one. Now we're going to do two. Chain one. Chain one. Okay, now we're going to do one again. So you're just going to repeat this, okay? All the way around, you're going to do two puffs, two puffs, one puff, two puffs, one puff. You're going to just repeat that all the way around till you come to the end and I'll meet you there. All right, guys, I made it to the end of that round. You should end with one, with, um, one puff, that last stitch. Okay. So then we're just going to slip stitch right into the side of this puff right here. Puff the magic dragon. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of puff. <laughs> um, okay, so slip stitch right there, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go right into the top of this puff stitch and slip stitch. Okay. And then slip stitch right into that chain, chain one space, and then chain sometimes yeah let me just sometimes the yarn gets a little um frayed okay then chain one all right so for this round what we are going to do is i'm just looking at my pattern here sorry um two puffs so we're going to do two puffs, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one, and then one puff, okay. Okay, sorry, just getting more yarn here. And then one puff in the next stitch. And then two puffs into the next stitch. That's one. Okay, so the pattern for this round is two puffs, one puff, one puff, two puffs. You're going to repeat this all the way around till you get to the end. I'll meet you back. All right, guys, so I just finished up that round. That was a repeat of two puffs, one puff, one puff, two puffs, one puff, one puff. Okay, so I'm going to just slip stitch into the side of this puff. I'm saying puff a lot in this video that's okay though all right now we're gonna go slip stitch right into the top of this puff okay like we've been doing slip stitch and then slip stitch right into that space like like right like that and then a chain one and to start this round we are going to be doing two puff stitches into this first stitch. It's one puff. Two puffs. Okay, so that was two. Now we're going to do one puff into this next chain space. Okay, 
We're gonna do one to the next. Oops. When I look at my camera, I lose, <laughs> let me get some yarn. Okay. And then we're gonna do one into this next one. Oops. Come on. Okay, so we just did two, one, one, one. So three singles. Now we're gonna do another two puffs into this next stitch. So that's the repeat for this row, this round, guys, I mean. Um, okay, it's two, and then three single puffs, and then two. So if you see the pattern, what it's doing here, this is basically, we're, we're just increasing as we go, and we're just making this, you know, the circle longer and flat so basically we're just going out and we're increasing so every time you see down here there's two puffs you put two puffs one puff one puff one puff one puff one puff and then two puffs so basically that's the pattern we're re we're we're following right now okay so you guys go all around and I will meet you back when we're finished up this round all right guys so made it to the end of that round now you're just gonna slip stitch don't you dare go after my yarn i'm sorry i have one of my dogs loves my yarn loves it okay so basically sorry let me just adjust my camera a little bit here okay so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go into this first puff stitch and slip stitch. Oops, sorry. Try that again. Yep, slip stitch into the top of that and then slip stitch into that chain one and do chain one. So, oops. Hubby's home. Okay. So now we're going to start this next round. We're going to start with two puffs into that first um, chain one space. So two puffs. It's one. Two. Oops. Sometimes that happens and I just, if I'm able to, I grab him. Sometimes, see, it happened again. Sometimes you gotta just uh, start from scratch again, but sometimes you can salvage it and grab him. Okay, so the next one is going to be one puff. And again, we're still, we're still increasing. So we're gonna do one puff again. Okay. Okay, one puff. Yep. And then one puff. So we're doing four. At this point, we're doing four um, single puffs. So we did two and then one, two, three, four, and now we're back to a double puff in this next space. So we're gonna do two puffs. My thing's getting caught here, I'm sorry. Okay, so two, we're gonna be doing two in this one. 
Let me try that one again. I think I lost. There we go. Chain one. And then one more puff into the stitch. Okay, so we're just going to repeat this all the way around, guys, okay? It's two, and then four singles, and then two, four singles. So just keep repeating that all the way around, and I will meet you guys when we get to the end of this round. Okay, guys. All right, guys, so made it, made it to the end of this round. We are getting there, guys. We are getting there. You want to slip stitch right on the side of that puff. Okay, so now the next four rounds are going to be a single puff stitch. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing we've been doing. You're going to go slip stitch right on the top of that, that puff right here. Okay, slip stitch there. Slip stitch on the in the chain space. Oops. And then chain one. And then like I said, what you're gonna do is just do a single puff. Oh, single puff into every single stitch. Okay, and you're gonna do that for the next four rounds so the next four rounds you're going to do a single puff stitch and just keep going around and around four times and i will meet you guys back after we complete those four rounds okay guys so you should have finished up um four rounds of a single puff stitch and now you just basically have a, you know, nice big circle here. So now we got to kind of make it look, turn it into a hat. So what we're going to do now is, um, I already slip stitched this, this together. Okay. So now all we're going to do for this next round is we are going to do a single crochet in every stitch. So you just want to do the same thing, slip stitch into the top of that puff, and then slip stitch into that chain space, chain one, and then like I said, we're going to do a single crochet. So for the first single crochet, you're just going to go right into, sorry, let me start that over. You're going to go right into this chain space. And to do a single crochet, okay, and then you're going to go into this top of this puff stitch. So you, to do a single crochet, you basically go in like that, you pull the yarn, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through both of those loops. Okay, again, single crochet into this chain space get some oh sorry I just hit my camera sorry a little wobbly okay and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into this puff of the, the top of this puff here single crochet just like that and then this chain space just like that top of this puff like that and chain space so basically guys you just do this all the way around the whole circle and I will meet you back okay guys so like I said you do that single crochet for that round once you get to the end you just slip stitch okay 
And then what we want to do, you're going to need some type of a stitch marker for this, for this next part. Um, I'm just going to use some other different color yarn. So basically what you want to do is once you slip stitch there, you're going to, um, we're going to do what we call a single crochet decrease for this row. So I'm just going to put my, my yarn right there. Okay. And I'm going to go into the next, the, this first single crochet right here. Okay. And I'm going to do a single crochet. Oops. You got to stay there, buddy. I'm going to do a single crochet right into that first single crochet. Okay. I'm going to do five of these single crochets in a row. Okay, so that's two, three, four, and five. Okay, so once you get to the five, what we're going to do is this is where we're going to do our single crochet decrease. So what you do is you go into the next stitch, just like you're going to do single crochet, you draw up a loop, but you do not yarn over yet you go into the next stitch and do the same thing. Draw up a loop, bring it over. You're going to have three loops on your hook now, and you're going to go through all three of those. That's a single crochet decrease. So we're going to repeat that, okay? So single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. Okay. Draw up a loop, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, go through all three. We're going to repeat that again. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, oops, let's try that one again, four, and five, and now we're going to do our decrease, go draw up a loop, draw up a loop, you have three, and go through all three, so you're going to repeat this, you're going to keep repeating this, so you do five single crochets, and then do a decrease. So I will meet you guys back. Okay. All right, guys. So when you get to the end of that round, you're just going to, you're not going to have enough. So you're just going to finish it up with the single crochet. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so just finish that up with a single crochet. And as you can see, we are back at our stitch marker. So you just want to take that out and put it put it up here now. Okay, so basically we're going to do we're going to repeat what we just did again. So repeat the 5 single crochet and then the ink the decrease. So five decrease, five decrease. Okay. So just repeat that. All right, guys. So we just, I just finished up that round, which was another decrease round. Take your stitch marker out and place it now on, on this top part. Now for this next round, <clears throat> and you guys can start to see that the rim is starting to form here. Okay. For this round, we're just going to do a single crochet. Okay, so for this round, just go ahead and do a single crochet. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so you should have just finished up a single crochet round. Now we're going to do, take your stitch marker and place it. 
place it um, right there again. And now we're going to do a single, we're going to do actually um, the decrease row again. So we're going to do the five single crochets. That was three, four, and five, and then do a decrease single crochet okay so we're gonna do another um, decrease row and what you can do um, as you finish up this row you can try the hat on and see how it's doing as far as fitting your head um, if you need to do another decrease row you can do that okay um, so try that after you finish this row up i suggest you try this hat on your head see how you like it see how the, the fitting is if you need to do another decrease do another decrease row if you don't then you can just leave it and do a single another cr single crochet row um to finish it up it's it's really at this point it's kind of like up to the person as far as how they you know how it fits so go ahead and do that Okay, and when you guys finish up um, and it, you know, you are satisfied with how it fits, I will meet you guys back and I'll do the same thing. I'll meet you back here and I'm going to show you guys how to do our flower and our little embellishment for our beret hat. Okay, guys, see you back. All right, guys. So I hope you guys were able to get your beret fitted to your head and everything worked out for you I ended up doing um, another decrease row so I did um, two more decreases and then I ended up doing a single crochet row that for that was for me so like I said you know everybody might be a little different and whatever you kind of have to just when you get to that end point just kind of pop it on your head and see how it fits so that's it guys that's it for the beret i hope you like the way it turned out now i'm going to show you how to make this flower to put on your beret you don't have to put this on but i think it looks super cute so i say why not right it's not hard it's an easy little thing to whip up so basically you obviously i'm going to be using for my flower i chose to use um, this color it's called mauve I thought it was really pretty and I thought it looked it'll look good with um, that off-white color that I have for my beret so you want to get your slip knot going here get it on your hook we're gonna start with a chain of four for this one Two. Oh, and I'm using the same size hook. Okay. Three, four. You can use a bigger hook or a smaller hook. That's up to you. We're going to do the circle again. So you're going to take your hook and go into that first chain. Draw up a loop. Slip stitch right in there. And you got yourself a little circle. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to do, we're going to put 12 double crochets into our little circle, including this um, chain of three. That counts as one. So we're going to do 12 double crochets. Well, actually 11 because that counts as one. So to do a double crochet, let me just, uh, just in case somebody out there isn't sure, you yarn over, go through the center of your circle, draw up a loop come back through, yarn over and go through two of your loops, yarn over and go through two more. That is a double crochet. Okay, so there we go. That makes two. That's three. Four, five, six. 
So just finish those up guys. Like I said, go up to 12 and I'll meet you back. All right guys. So once you get to the end of that, um, round, you're going to slip stitch right into, um, that top, sorry, the top of that chain of three, chain three, you're going to slip stitch right there. Close up that round. Okay. Now what you're going to do is I want you to, so we're going to be working in this front loop of the, each, um, stitch here, the front one right here. Okay. So I want you to slip stitch into that, just into that front loop of that first stitch. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And now we're going to put three double crochets right into this, this only into this front loop. Okay. So three double crochet. So one, two I sorry always do that with the yarn gotta get more yarn okay that's uh and your your chain of three is going to count as a double crochet so that's one two three we want total four so four okay and now you're basically just going to keep repeating that you're going to go to the next, the next one, and you're going to be working just in that front, front piece. Okay. We're going to put four double crochet into that front loop. It's two, three, and four. Okay, and you're just going to keep going around like this, working in that front, front little piece. So again, four double crochet into the next, oopsie, that was, there we go, two, oops, I mean one, <laughs> two, three, and four. So just keep going around. You're going to go finish up this, this round. Okay. We're doing the same thing over and over four into each of those front loops. Okay, guys. So basically I finished up that round. I slip stitched into, um, the top of that chain three. I tied it off. And I cut my yarn because now we're going to start with some fresh yarn. You're going to fold your flower over and we're going to be working in these, these back loops here. We, we were working in the front ones before. Now we're going to be working in these back loops. So you just want to get some fresh yarn on your hook. Okay. You can start wherever. It doesn't matter where you start. Just find one of your, find a little, little spot. We're just going to, um, pull it up like that. Okay. And we're going to chain three. Let me just hold that with my thumb. Okay. So one, two, three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be working in these back loops. So we're going to put a one, another double crochet into the same back loop that we just worked that chain three into. Let me get a better. There we go. That's better. Okay. So that, that counts as two double crochet. So basically we're just going to work around um, these back loops doing two double crochet in each of these back loops. Now at first it's a little 
awkward. <laughs> Oops. But once you get the hang of it, you're good. It's good. It's fine. Plus, I mean, I'm just a little awkward right now because I have my camera like I'm trying. I want to be in the light because <laughs> the other one was a little dark. Okay, that's better. Okay, so basically we want to go around and do two double crochet in all of these back loops. They're, they're a little tough to find, but they're there. You'll see them. That's one and two. Okay, there's the next one. One. And two. So I'm just going to, oops, that one, hold on. I'm just going to keep working this. And I will meet you guys back after you put in two double crochet in all these back row loops. <clears throat> all right, guys. So... Um, you finish up that round working in the back those back loops. You just want to slip stitch right into the top of that chain three. Okay. Now what you're going to do is we are going to be working again. We're going to be working now we're going to be working again into that those front loops only okay so what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch right into this front loop like this okay and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to put four double crochet into that front loop that we just did I mean three because this this chain three count as, counts as one so let me just get some yarn here we're gonna do four of those into that front loop so one two and three because we have that chain three that counts as one so you have four so we're going to go around and do the same thing all around four double crochet into each of these front loops. It's two, three, four, five, Two, three, and four. So just keep working that round, guys, and I will meet you back up with you when we finish that up. All right, guys, so I came to the end of that round, and uh, now you just want to slip stitch the top of, at the top of this chain three. Slip stitch that. And close it up and that is it let's cut this yarn off tie that off and there you have a really cute flower okay so obviously we need to hide our tails and when you want to put your flower on your hat, you need a yarn needle to do so. Okay, so you're just going to need to get yourself a yarn needle. Um, I showed in my other videos, I'm just going to quickly
The other thing you can do, I'm just gonna tie this, which I've actually, I might end up doing it for this one because of the coloring. So I'll just show you like real quick. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Um. Just to hide your tail. You just want to yarn your thread your needle, yarn your needle, whatever you want to say. You just go in and out, in and out, like that. Kind of like an accordion. And like end up out where it can be hidden on this outside part push it through okay all right and then you've got you can just cut it there and that's hidden all right and basically you do the same with all these other ones you know okay so now um, I like to put, for me personally, I like to place the flower like on the side of my hat, you know, so like right there. I mean, the cool thing about this hat is there's kind of no front and no back. It, it's, it's kind of like... You can put it on your head however you want to put it on your head. You know what I mean? So, but I mean, some people might want to wear the flower in the middle. I don't know. I'm just going to put it off to the side here like this, assuming that, assuming that this is, um, so basically to do this, you just want to get some yarn again, grab that yarn needle thread it. I'm just going to cut off about, you know, a good chunk of yarn here. Probably like at least 12 inches or so. And then you just basically are going to sew this flower on. It's, it's not, it's easy peasy stuff. You just go up through and then go back down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> As I say, easy peasy stuff. I want to, I should have kept, kept it, keep a tail there. I, I didn't keep a tail. That was the mistake I made. When you pull through, once you go through a few times, it'll, it'll, it'll be secure. Sorry. Hey, it's good to mess up, you know, that way you guys see the mess ups too. Trust me, I mess up a lot. That's the thing about crocheting, like, don't, you know, when I first started, I, I did, I've crochet, crocheted so many things that just came out horribly. Trust me. So, I mean, you know, it's error, it's trial and error, and the more you do it, the better you get, the more comfortable you get doing it, you know, and not everything's going to be perfect by no means. It's homemade stuff, you know, it's handmade stuff. That's the, that's the beauty of it. I mean, I think anyway, I think it's, makes it unique and special when you make stuff yourself. So yeah, guys, you just basically, you know, keep going through and until you, it's pretty secure here. Okay. You just keep doing that and you have yourself. I love, I really like these colors together. Actually, I think I really like these colors together. So it's, it's a very cute, I think vintage style and you know if, you, if anybody's watched my uh, channel for any amount of time they know that I love vintage 
So it's like 20 esques. I think like the 20s reminds me of that's when berets were in style. I love it. I think it's super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys try it out. It's perfect for the weather that's coming. Here in New Hampshire, we're going to get snow tomorrow. So um, today's date is October. The day I'm making this video is October 28th. We're going to be getting snow tomorrow. So it's that time of the year to break out the hats. You know, the warm hats for the, for the cold weather. So I hope you guys enjoy it. God bless wherever you are. Take care. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.